Hi everyone, myself Yogendra Jalal and I'm back with some more ethical hacking interview question that you might encounter. The very first question the interviewer can ask is how hashing is different from encryption and where they are used. Hashing and encryptions are two distinct cryptography techniques that serve different purposes in the realm of data security. Hashing is a one-way process that takes an input and generate a fixed size output called a hash. It is designed to be irreversible, ensuring that data integrity and verification during transmission or storage. Hashing finds its application in password storage where the hashed passwords are stored in the database to prevent exposure of plain text password in case of your breach. On the other hand, encryption. Encryption is a reversible process that converts a plain text data into a separate text using an algorithm and a key. Its primary goal is to ensure data confidentiality, protecting the sensitive information during the transmission over a network or when stored in database. Encryption is widely used to secure communication and protocols like your HTTPS and to protect critical data from unauthorized access. While hashing and encryption both play crucial role in data security, they serve different purposes. With hashing focused on data integrity and encryption it focused on your data confidentiality. Then we are our second question which is explain the difference between a bind shell and a reverse shell in a Metasploit framework. Bind shell and reverse shell are two different payloads that are used in Metasploit framework. The basic difference between your bind shell and a reverse shell is bind shell uses when the payload is sent in the intranet. For example, if an attacker is there in the same network, he can send the payload to anyone who has connected to the same network and get access of their system. But a reverse shell payload is used to access the system which has a public IP and is there in the internet and it is used to bypass a firewall, get entered into any network and access the system inside the particular network. Then the third question which is explain the concept of reverse engineering and your article hacking. Reverse engineering is the process of dissecting a system, piece of software or product to discover its internal working, the guiding principle and the functioning. So, reverse engineering is frequently employed in the setting of ethical hacking to investigate and comprehend the internal functions of the software, firmware or your hardware elements in order to detect flaws, unearth hidden features or create countermeasures. Then we are having the last question which is how can you identify and exploit security misconfiguration? An ethical hacking and your security testing, a fundamental aspect is the discovery and exploitation of your security flaws. These flaws can be present in system, programs or your network components which are either improperly configured or retained default setting, making them susceptible to a potential abuse by the attackers. Such vulnerabilities are commonly referred to as your security misconfiguration in addition. Here are some key steps to find and take advantage of a security configuration errors like your reconnaissance, the very first step, then your vulnerability scanning, then third, which is your manual inspection, fourth, your testing for common misconfiguration, fifth, exploiting the misconfiguration, and the last and the sixth one, which is proof of concept or your report date. So that's all for today. Thank you. See you next time with more exciting interview questions and friendly discussions. Take care and have a wonderful day.